Uh, another story, two high school students from New Orleans having solved an impossible math problem uh, and presented it at a recent conference. Yeah, Kelsia Johnson and Nakia Jackson said they have proven uh, Pythagoras theorem by using trigonometry without circular logic. I have no idea what that means. Pythagorean it, theory. It would yeah. do that too. It was a dis <laughs> I was horrible in math. It was a discovery that countless mathematicians around the world believe to be impossible to solve for over 2,000 years. Wow. Now they presented their work at the American Mathematical Society's Southeast Annual Meeting and were reportedly the only high schoolers Ooh. at the event which was attended by math researchers from across the country. The two seniors say it wouldn't have been possible without the encouragement of their teachers. Look My at them showing gosh, love to their Kelsia, teachers. Kelsey, I know Ooh. Kelsey and Nakia are planning to get STEM degrees as they move on to college, specializing in environmental engineering and biochemistry. That is amazing, all of that black girl magic, and to be able to solve a math problem that has been having mathematicians across the world pull mm -hmm. their hair out for 2,000 years. I can't even look at that theorem and just be like, I don't even know what you're talking about. You know, I, I, that's why we're in communication. Listen, we exactly. I don't do wasn't math. that we side of my brain does not work. At all. Math, chemistry, I did horrible in those classes. I'm not trying to discourage our Anyone. young, young soulmates. Do your best. But for Courtney Hicks, right. it was torture. It was and I, tough. And we got to pick after when we were um, upperclassmen in mm -hmm. high school, we got to pick the remainder of our math classes. And I went the easy way out. Statistics? I think the highest I, no, oh. the highest I went was geometry. Geometry. This okay. is a circle. <laughs> this is a square. This is a rectangle. And I yep. got up on out of high school. I yeah. regretted it because once I got to college at Michigan State, they required you take some of that harder stuff. Yes. And I just, it was just horrible for me. Math is not for everyone. <laughs> math is definitely not for everyone. And then they say, you gonna and need Need this when you it get older, and you never need that stuff. No, do you? you know you have a phone. You can you can ask your phone stuff. But yeah. I, but as long as I can balance, I was gonna say my checkbook, but not that anymore. As long I as know. I can balance my budget, everybody you knows what I'm talking about when I say age, checkbook. When I say checkbook, age. you know what I mean. <laughs> Young folks, ask the do older folks. Do you still folks. go to the bank? <laughs> Do you still not go as inside much, the bank? But I do. I do. <laughs> Every now and again, you got you to go, go in there in and there. be like, hey, what's happening you here? You got to put some eyes on them. That's Where right. Where my money at? That's right. You are a mess. We enjoy but, you. But we yeah, enjoy you. But yeah, it's, it's cool uh, that young people know their, their vocation and mm -hmm. lean into it mm -hmm. early. Because if you have uh, uh, something uh, that leans you into math, mm -hmm. something that draws you to that. Mm -hmm. Go there, yeah. use that knowledge and grow it yeah. because everybody any, doesn't have it, that's a gift. And I'm gonna say, I think anybody who chooses STEM is amazing. Mm -hmm. I just think you're amazing. I do, I've always been artsy fartsy and I yeah. just don't get that, yeah. I don't get it, yeah. yeah. You are so dope, <laughs> I enjoy having you here. For